Well, here on News Nation, we're also watching extreme weather sweep across the nation. The Northeast facing flash flooding is up to 10 inches of rain fell in some parts of the region with storms continuing into tonight. And on the West Coast, extreme heat means the prospect of rolling blackouts and sparking brush fires in California. So let's start with that flooding. Parts of Connecticut getting more than two inches of rain, but Rhode Island really feeling the brunt of this storm. Over eight inches of rain fell in Providence, causing flash flooding and road closures, rivers close to overflowing, people stranded on I-95. That highway shut down at one point. And this building's roof caving under the pressure of the heavy rain. New York City was geared up and ready to take a hit from that storm, but the area was largely spared. And News Nation's Paul Gerke is live. So, Paul, this storm really packed a punch, but it depended on location. That's right, Nicole. It doesn't feel great when you're standing out here in the rain right now, but in reality, New York was spared, especially when you look at a storm that rolled through here about this time last year. I'm sure you remember the wild video, water rushing into the subways. They flooded so badly that at one point, every line was closed. But the good news is the nature of this storm is a little more slow and steady, and the flood warnings through most of the Northeast have already been canceled. But in some places, Nicole, the damage is already done. <laughs> the same storm system that sent Ohioans canoeing through suburban streets and teens slip and sliding down sidewalks in Alabama is working its way through the Northeast. Providence, Rhode Island was soaked with more than 11 inches of rain. At least one man had to be rescued from his car. Highways were shut down for hours and multiple structures collapsed in the wake of flash flooding. Everybody's driving through it. I mean, what's the matter with people? I mean, I don't understand. Drivers proved just as stubborn in Connecticut, where some areas received a typical summer season's rainfall in the span of a couple days. Flash flood warnings remained in effect through the afternoon. Seven inches of rain is expected in eastern Connecticut, falling at up to an inch per hour. Coming up in the next hour of Rush, we've obtained video from inside one of the buildings in Rhode Island that collapsed. You won't believe it when you see it for yourself. This storm is a bit of a double-edged sword for the Northeast, Nicole. If you've been following the news, you know that we've been in a pretty historic drought out here. Uh, New York, for example, has seen just 25 percent of the rainfall we'd expect over the last two months up until this storm rolled through. The ground is dry, so that leads to a chance that there might be more flooding, but the ground is really, really dry, so I'd say we need the rain more than anything else. Nicole? Oh, yeah. All right, Paul. Go back inside and try to dry off there. Thank you. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.